The treatment goals for MS are really to keep somebody uh, stable um, and maybe to help them improve a little bit. Um, and MS is a condition that it can affect people for many decades. Um, it can get worse over time. We really want to want to put a, a stop to MS and really halt it in its tracks so that people can uh, go about their everyday lives. And that's a, an attainable goal these days. So one of the main goals of uh, treating MS is to really keep MS from getting worse, right? It's a preventative goal and to keep people uh, from getting worse from uh, and, and staying stable throughout their lives. Treatment goals for MS have changed quite a bit over the last few decades. I mean, first of all, we didn't have any treatments as of you know, before 1993. Nowadays, we have we have uh, over 20 different options, 10 different classes of, of treatments for MS. And back in the day, if we saw a few lesions come and go uh, over the period of a few years, well, we wouldn't really do too much about that necessarily because um, we didn't really have the ability to switch to something more effective to escalate therapies. Well, now uh, we do have that option and don't like to keep an individual on a medication if it makes them feel unwell. Um, we have other options in this modern era. There is a, a term in the research world, um, what's called NIDA or no evidence of disease activity that really refers to when uh, we don't really see any evidence of, of MS worsening and that's uh, no evidence of relapses, no new lesions and, and no worsening of, of overall neurological function. And so I think one, one of the important things to remember for somebody who gets diagnosed with MS right now, this is a long-term condition and the field and the treatment options that are available will look very, very different. 20 years from now, 10 years from now, compared to the way that they look now. And so that is a cause for hope, that is a cause for optimism. <laughs>